Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you guys so much for helping me get to 200 plus views in the last video in under 24 hours. Since you guys went home on that video, I decided to upload another one within 24 hours. Since usually my upload rate's been trash, let's be honest. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and like last video. Comment your suggestions down below. And if you're feeling up to it, follow me on Twitter too. Because uh, I'm more active on that now too. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Since you guys c went crazy with the suggestions of making um, a Blender video of how I make my low poly assets, um, I decided I'm going to actually make the video. I, I wanted to avoid it because I didn't really want to get into Blender that much. But uh, since you guys want it so much, I'll uh, here it is. First things first, if you don't have Blender, go ahead and download it. I'll leave the link in the description below. Uh, it's a great software, it's free, and it's just it works great and it makes your games look a million times better than just using parts. So if I were you, I'll just go ahead and download it. For the sake of this video, I've enabled uh, my keys to show on the bottom left of the screen. So if you guys are curious as to what buttons I'm pressing, you can see it right there. And it also shows you uh, what uh, if I'm clicking left click, right click or middle mouse button as well. Now bear with me, if you're quite new in on Blender this might seem really confusing at the start. So the first thing I did was go to the top left, click Add, Mesh, then Cylinder. And then I edit, edited the properties of the cylinder by clicking on the bottom left, that uh, small little box, and changing the vertices to 8, just to give it that low poly look. Once you're done with that, I stretch, I select faces by clicking on the icon on the top right on the top left or uh, clicking three on your keyboard um, and I stretch the log out uh, upwards once I do that I uh, press control R uh, while in edit mode to uh, add loop cuts to the mesh to enter edit mode you press tab by the way and once that is done you already have your log already there done for you. Uh, once the log is complete I add another mesh uh, the same way and it should already save your properties of having eight uh, vertices on it. And once you've done that I do the same method of uh, shrinking the top face and making the uh, bottom face larger and then I press E to extrude and then S to scale inwards and then E to extrude, extrude and and then pull it up just to create that um, that little hole inside the uh, the leaves and once I've done that I literally just copy and paste control C control V uh, the leaves and then I just make them longer and wider uh, the further down they go uh, and that's pretty much it for the trees it's pretty simple um, if you get confused just go back you know watch every step I do once you do it once or twice it's very simple but after that I'm gonna show you guys now how I curve my trees so the first thing I do is I select all the leaves by shift left clicking each leaf a leaf and then I press Control J to join them so they're all one uh, model. Once I've done that, I select both the leaves and the log and copy and paste them to the right or to the left just so I have another uh, tree. Now, this is where those loop cuts come important where you cut into the log. So, what I do is I select both the log and the leaves go into edit mode by pressing tab and then selecting the top faces <laughs> once I do that I select smooth select which is the button I press at the top middle of the screen which goes light blue once I've done and then once you have that enabled you use the scroll wheel to uh, change the strength of it and then I literally just press uh, R to rotate and X or Y to um, select a certain axis. Once I've completed the trees I just move them aside real quick and then I, I'm going to start with the rocks now. 
so I press uh, I click add mesh and then ecosphere uh, to create kind of like a low poly uh, version of a sphere and uh, to create that rock shape I what I tend to do personally is delete the bottom half by um, by pressing tab to go into edit mode uh, selecting faces and going into wireframe mode by holding Z uh, and removing the bottom faces just to um, just to warn you this makes the asset invisible when you look at it from the bottom because the there's no faces there however it's going to be underground anyway so it won't affect your asset at all um, and after that I tend to use the smooth select tool which is the uh, the tool at the top middle which uh, is highlighted blue um, and then I tend to just drag out parts of the rock just to create a more uneven uh, looking rock a more natural uh, looking rock which is a lot better than have uh, when you uh, copy and paste it and rotate it and that kind of stuff so it looks like it's more variated when it isn't because um, you're never going to find like a, a, a perfectly round rock or something uh, in real life are you so it's more impactful if you kind of create that randomness in it that's going to be about it for this video I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I make uh, my trees and my, my rocks but to a very like basic level as to where you guys can understand it if you're inexperienced with blender um, after this I you tend to just export it as an FBX file and then uh, literally just import it into studio um, but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn post notifications on if you are interested in a part two where I make plants and stuff like that let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a part two uh, eventually. And yeah, peace.